I'm at the theater going to see Elemental. Um, I was experiencing a lot more traffic and this theater is packed. And I've seen a lot of people and I'm not going to make assumptions just the way they look, but they look like they were coming out on a Barbie. Yes, um, I think people are going to be surprised even by Sunday um, take for Barbie. All right, so I, I, I may be the only one in Elemental still. Ooh. All right. Uh, but I'm rushing to the theater. It's all right. There'll be previews. And uh, see how it is. This is a nicer theater. I'm going to see it in 3D. My expectations are... 7 or 8 out of 10, but I do like uh, the special effects for um, for Elemental. I, I like the elements. I think that kind of pushes the genre forward a little bit. That's just the line for concessions. Uh, yes, Barbie is a phenomenal. I've never seen it this busy on a Sunday at 4 p.m. Looks like a Friday or Saturday night. Key. Earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and This is still the line just for popcorn and drinks. People are saying like at least 20 minutes. This isn't even for the movie part. Look at this. Sunday at 6, it's still packed. Still packed. I was going to interview, try to interview some people, but I don't have it in me. Especially because I want to talk about the movie once we get to the car. All right. I'm here. I'm out of the theater. This is my fresh reaction out after seeing Elemental. Uh, you cannot go to the movie theaters, even if you're seeing something else with talking out about the Barbie phenomenon. And I have to say, even friends of mine... You're all wrong if you think the theater experience is done. Um, if you bring something fresh and exciting that you haven't seen some before, and I've said this before but because I love Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner. You build it, they will come. It has to feel fresh. It has to feel exciting. And people are going to show up. There's so many people on this globe that is your audience. You just got to give, you got to, Bait the hook and bring them there. Now, I'm still thinking about bar. The it was great. There's people dressed up. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of romance in the air. You know what I'm saying? I saw a lot of people holding hands. Uh, people looking their best. People feeling comfortable being who they are. And a lot of pink. A lot of pink. And just a heads up warning, some frustrations too. People couldn't get tickets. They're like, it's still sold out. Yes, it's still sold out. I, I have a feeling from the front lines of the movie industry and the theaters that even on a Sunday, you can't get tickets to Barbie. And I don't think it was for Oppenheimer. I could be wrong. I don't think people are waiting 20 minutes in line for popcorn for Oppenheimer. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but from what I saw in the lines in the in the colorful um, costumes, it's it was like they it's like if people were going to Star Wars and they were dressed up, they they put their Sunday's best on for today. But now let's get back to Elemental. What I like to do in my reviews is expectations and where I fear, feel right out of the theater based on what I was... I wanted to see this movie. I'll be real. Part of the reason I wanted to say this movie is my haters on MME. Yeah, they're like, why are you always down on Pixar? Why are you always down on Pixar? I feel like, you know I love special effects. Back in the day, Pixar used to be really push the special effects for 3D animation, push it forward. And they also had this magic fun that while there's very important messages and 
And that part of Pixar has been consistent, I think. There's always a message. It's not just a movie to be a movie. You have to have to say say something. But um, where does this fall in Pixar for me? I will say this. I really enjoyed the movie. And as I and I was unsure I loved the movie till the very end. And I say, I think the third act, the finale pushed up the score for me and I was going to go 7 or 8 it's not perfect I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 but I would say 9 out of 10 because it re- well first off the short ahead was uh, the old guy from short from up so, I'm sorry from up and Doug and it's one of my favorite shorts ever it's a continuation of the up story. It was just enough. I don't know if I necessarily want to see a whole movie. It was perfect. One of the best shorts ever. I do like the original shorts that aren't based off a of prior Pixar IP as well. But it was very heartwarming. And I love Doug. Maybe there's just maybe not an up movie. Maybe just a Doug adventure would be a good sequel. But getting back to Ele- Elemental. The special effects were did push the genre forward. Great art design, uh, water, air, fire, earth. A lot of those elements, a lot of the mixing elements, had just enough there to teach teach the young ones, getting them interested in science and elements and how things interact with each other. And then the overall message that I get by the finale of this movie is. You want to talk about love? You want to talk about what love means? And family and... um, And what, you know... What things... How... How we honor family... And how how you really love someone... And thought about my relationships, the relationship with my wife, too. I'll be honest with you. When we got married... She thought I was a certain person. I thought she was a certain person. But if you if you really love someone and go and really move and really uh, take the next step of love is you love who the person really is and who they want to be instead of who you think they are. And who you think they are, they should be. You get to know who they actually are. And yeah, you know, you get you think you think you know someone, but when when you really lives with someone, marry someone, you actually find out everything, most things about. I'm not saying everything, most things about them, and you see who they become. And this is also great for family relationships and across the board, because this is sort of like an immigrant story too. Um, it it actually deals with some some prejudices as well, based on how uh that well in this case how elements are different, and it's a great great message, great message. But that's what I take away from it is even loving yourself, even loving yourself. You have to be true to who you actually are. And I'll be real with you. I love movies. I love entertainment. That's who I actually am. And this is something I really love doing. And I'm going to be doing more of. And this is part of me. And I, it, you know, it took me 41 years to find out one of my passions. I, I love the arts. I like drawing. I'm not the best. I have some great ideas. But... Um, yeah, and YouTube and you viewers and the whole experience of YouTube, it made me feel, you know, it's improved my life. Yeah, there's been some craziness along the way as such in life. And the the more, the more you meet people, the more you interact with people, there's going to be challenges, but that shouldn't stop you. You should put yourself out there in the world and find out who you really are. Love love who you really are first no matter who tells you to who tells you no matter even if your family 
even if your family thinks you should be a certain way or your future should hold certain certain things you really owe it to yourself to find out who you really are and what you really want while still being respectful to your family and what their expectations are but you got to be honest with yourself and you got to be honest with your family and that's really what's going to make your life take it to the next level you know and so a lot of us out there wait too long to listen to ourselves and to tell to talk to your family and tell them who you really are now it's not always going to go well and this is a disney movie and it has a happy ending oh is that a spoiler no i i'm not counting that as a spoiler disney movies usually have a happy ending but that's what really sold to me at the end yes it was the it was a typical pixar a little bit of jokes here and there mixing of the special effects and the elements but by the end the end sold me and i'd say nine out of ten and i'd say pixar is back and this is the underdog of the theater barbie and oppenheimer are bringing in the big crowds the theater is not dead uh, but I would say Pixar is back, and this deserves to be up there. Not with the best of the best of Pixar, but what a great message. In, um, it was nice to see not only the two main characters finding out who they are, respecting their family, um, but putting themselves out there and really living life and and try to expand their horizons and be be the better for it. And I think that's a great message for everyone. So that's my thoughts on Elemental. I'm very happy I saw it. Also, one of the best 3D films I've seen recently. The special effects where Pixar push it to the next level. Um, really did well in 3D. So I was very happy. I saw it. I was not the only one in the theater, which was fine. I think there's about 10 people. Um, but I had a great time at the movies. Uh, this is Max signing out. I'll be here next week. I'll be at the theaters as much as I can on the front lines to tell you what's going on. And maybe next time I'll see Barbie or Oppenheimer. <laughs>